Hello there. In this video, let's calculate the center of mass of a half disk. So here I have some half disk of mass m and radius r, and I want to find its center of mass. So the first thing is we recognize that this is a continuous body, right? It's not made up of discrete mass points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label some infinitesimal mass element dm, okay? And this infinitesimal mass element is going to be located at some position, right? I'm going to point to it with a position vector little r. With this notation, okay, the, the center of mass, which I'm going to call capital R, is defined as the integral over my half disk, I'll just call this HD for half disk, of R dm divided by the total mass of my half disk m, okay? All right, so how do we use this integration, right? Now, because my integrand, this r here, is in terms of spatial coordinates, right, and it's not matching my variable of integration dm, we need to fix that, right? We need to write dm in terms of, you know, some kind of spatial coordinates. So we can do this very easily if we recognize that the area mass density sigma is defined as dm per some infinitesimal area element dA, in which case we can rewrite dm as sigma dA. Great. Now, because we have a uniform disk, right, then we can also, again, rewrite this sigma, right? You tell me, what would the mass density be? It would just be the total mass m divided by the area of this half disk, which would be pi r squared divided by two. I'm just gonna move this divided by two over to the top of the, of the fraction now. All right, so let's go ahead and substitute this in for, uh, for dm. So I'm going to have r is equal to the integral over my half disk. And just so we're on completely the same page, I'm just going to substitute it right into dm, 2m pi r squared, dA, just like this. And this is divided by my total mass m. Oh, and look, these masses are going to cancel. And of course, this two over pi r squared, that's just a constant, right? So I can take that out of the integral. So two over pi r squared, integral over my half disk. What is this position vector going to be in Cartesian coordinates, right? Like if I call this my x hat unit vector and here's my y hat unit vector, then of course this uh, position vector r is just going to be some x component in the x hat plus some y component in the y hat direction right? And we're still integrating with respect to dA. All right, awesome. Now, in theory, right, we would have to apply this integral, uh, right, twice. First uh, in this x hat component, and then second in this uh, y hat component. So we'd have to do two integrals. However, I think we can all agree, right, that the center of mass in the x direction is of course just going to be, you know, zero, right? By symmetry, we have this uniform disk here. So we have an equal amount of mass on the left and on the right side. So the center is always going to just average out to x equals zero. And so if that's the case, right? If the x position of our center of mass is zero, all that we're left with, we just have to do one integral here. So two over pi r squared, integral over my half disk, y, y hat dA. So what is dA, right? Each of our infinitesimal mass elements, right, as we know, is going to occupy some infinitesimal area element dA. And depending on what coordinate system we choose, right, we have to pick an appropriate dA. So what coordinate system should we choose, you know, to uh, deal with this disk, um, right? And the answer is polar coordinates. That would be a, a really smart choice. So in polar coordinates, an area element dA is equal to r dr d phi, where 
r would be the radial distance from the origin to, to your point of interest and phi would be the angle that that radius makes with the uh with the x-axis here okay all right so now we can go ahead and rewrite this integral as equal to 2 over pi r squared and of course this is going to be a double integral now right and i'm going to leave a blank here where the y was okay that's going to be in the y hat direction and our area element is r times dr d phi awesome right and the reason i left this blank here for y is of course we have to rewrite y now in terms of these polar coordinates because that's what we're integrating with respect to so that's really easy right so i'll go ahead and uh right note that this dm has some height y right and so in terms of these uh polar coordinates r and theta y is going to be equal to r sine phi do you see that we have some radius r some angle phi y is equal to r sine phi awesome so i'll go ahead and substitute that in now r sine phi and of course in uh polar coordinates our uh, boundaries of integration are super duper easy right where is um where is r going to vary from well it's of course just going to start out at the origin and it's going to go out all the way up to oh capital r perfect so zero to r for our r boundary and then what about phi okay phi is going to start at some angle zero and then it's going to arc right and it's going to arc how far pi radians we're going to go out half of a circle so our angle is going to range from zero to pi radians perfect all right great i'll go ahead and uh, rewrite this integral one more time two over pi r squared integral zero to pi integral zero to r of r squared sine phi dr d phi in the y hat direction what's our integral with uh respect to r going to give us right really easy integral that's going to give us one third r cubed okay what's our integral with respect to uh, phi going to give us well integral of sine phi is going to give us minus cosine phi and when we plug in our boundaries from zero to pi okay that's really easy to do it just ends up giving us an extra factor of two great and so now we just multiply this by our constant term 2 over pi r squared and so we're going to just have some quick cancellation just like that and when we multiply everything out we're going to be left with 4 r over 3 pi in the y hat direction this is our full expression for our uh, half disks center of mass if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel, and let me know in the uh, in the comments if you uh, if you do. Uh, I really appreciate and enjoy uh, hearing about people uh, getting on board the channel. Um, but other than that, thank you so so much for watching.